Welcome to Fox 9 Sports Now. I'm Jim Rich. The legendary Mike Beck joins us in a moment, but we have another legend here with us. Greg Coleman, former Vikings punter. You're on the anniversary team. You're in a Hall of Fame that's very prestigious. And you're back in Minnesota. That's the best part. It is. And uh, the grandkids are here. The kids are here. And Ian said the weather forecast for Tuesday is going to be fantastic. Tomorrow, I could care less about tomorrow. But Tuesday, <laughs> the good Lord is going to smile on us once again as we have the 24th annual Greg Coleman Celebrity Golf Tournament. I know. We're going to get into that because there's some great items that you can jump in on as well. But first, overall thoughts going into year two with Coach Kevin O'Connell. Where do you think this team and the franchise is headed. I don't think he's going to have to work as hard as shifting the culture as they had to do in year one. He's got everybody on the same page. Everybody in that building is rowing in the same direction. Row. Where did I get that from? <laughs> I don't know. But everybody's moving wrong. in the same direction, and I really like that. So they don't have to think about that so much. What to expect? They know what to expect. And Kevin expects those guys to be prepared, to be a part of this community. And number one, number two is execute that's the name of the game bud would always say touch i can get anybody to put on a purple uniform and a helmet to go out and play but we are paid to win ball games and when you don't win ball games changes happen yeah, that is very true. Vikings won a lot last year, 13-4. and four, But before we dive more into the Vikings, we want to discuss the great work you continue to do. Even though you've cut back your Vikings duties, your NFL duties, you continue to host your golf tournament. As you mentioned, 24 years now this is going on, and it helps so many children, so many young adults that work with the YMCA. You know, over the last 24 years, Eleanor and I have been fortunate and blessed to be in a position to help young people because when we were young people helped us I'm a Y kid I'm a product of discipline I'm a product of of sportsmanship I'm a product of teamwork and all of those things that we try to instill in young people through the mentoring and tutoring and sports programs of the YMCA of the North so over the last 24 years man I guess we're close to two million dollars just starting Jeez. off small in in just doing whatever we can do we've got great community partners in TSR law Delta uh, Sick AG, a new uh, company uh, here locally, and, and they just believe in the mission. And when you can see young people that have gone through our program, which I found out at a dinner uh, just Wednesday night, they've gone through, now they are executives with the organization. That means that we're doing something right, man. Well, that's what the great thing about this is, is that, you know, you're not just helping these kids for one day. These are lifelong messages that help mold their lives. You better believe it, Jim. In sports, mentoring, tutoring, um, what better way to get the message across? Because sports is a universal language that all people speak. White, black, blue, green. Everybody loves sports, and why not use that mechanism to feed positivity in young people across this community? All right, here's the information for the tournament. It's this Tuesday up at Bunker Hills. That's why Greg was so interested in Ian's forecast for Tuesday. <laughs> it looks like it's going to be perfect. Uh, YMCA dot, or YMCANorth.org is the website. Uh, if you got some room still or not, we'll see. And you also have a special auction item that's going to be a really important item for Viking fans. Every tournament we put one really nice auction item online on KFAN and all of those uh, hosts will do a great job in pushing it. This year we have you know, we lost a giant. We lost a Hall of Famer. We lost one of our own, Bud Grant. Uh, we were so fortunate to have donated to us a jersey signed by Bud, photograph uh, between, from Tommy Kramer and, and Buddy Baker. Uh, this is, is going to be online. It is. I may even bid on this, and my wife always tells me, Greg, you can't <laughs> auction and bid on the same items, but there are only 12 of these left in the entire world that Bud signed. Uh, he and TK got really close during, you know, the latter part of his years. Some of the conversations that we've had were phenomenal over the last number of years, and uh, Bud I owe so much to, uh, learned so much from him. And um, this, this jersey is right. one of a kind. Hall of Famer, uh, so stay tuned. All right, now back to the Vikings. They had an interesting visitor at camp. Uh, Kareem Hunt 
came to meet with the coaching staff to see if he'd be a fit for this offense. Are you surprised the Vikings are kicking the tires on another? No, runner? absolutely not. If you're not trying to improve your team at every position, then you're not trying. So there is a, slurp, a surplus of running backs that are available, Ezekiel Elliott and so many others. Uh, Saquon Barkley uh, had a tough time getting his contract right, right. signed. So, uh, no, I'm not surprised at all. All right, uh, Alexander Madison, he's the number one back right now. Are they looking to find a replacement for him? Do they have confidence in oh, him? Oh, Jimmy, you're always himself? trying to start some controversy. <laughs> Maddie is the guy. If you look at Hunt and Maddie, they're very similar, uh, not as quick and shift of feet as Dalvin Cook. Uh, they're going to pound. They're going to grind. They're going to get you. Two running backs are very, very similar. Hey, if, if, they were, if they're not going to kick the tires in, what is Quasey doing up there? That's what you're supposed to do. As long as they don't bring in any, any other punters and all that kind of stuff. Leave the punters and kickers alone. All right. The NFL is trying to make the game safer, and they're allowing teams to fair catch the ball oh, Lord. Uh, from the 25-yard back to the goal line. Why the is kickoff. it whenever they want to change the game, they screw around with special teams? The punters and the kickers, the kick returners, they just really cut the lifeblood out of all kick returners with this new rule. They'll say, and I, I do believe to a certain extent, it's for safety reasons. They took away the, you know, hitting in the wedge and all of those right, things, right, hitting yep. below, below the knees. It's a one-year trial. They'll see how it goes, and they'll go back and they'll revisit the competition committee. That's what they're supposed to do to make the game safer, to make the game better. I don't like it. All right, get out there and support you. On Thank Tuesday, you, we'll be there as well. I look forward we'll to it. On. Are you going to bring that two iron that you had that only the Lord himself can hit? No, no. You said if Moses used it to part the Red Sea. That clubs are that so rod, old. that staff, they come from me. Yes. That's, uh, now I can't get rid of it. If it's Moses using it, maybe one day I'll hit a good shot. Absolutely. All right.